perfect day to go fossil collecting along the Jurassic coast. Let's go and see what we can find. You'll see Golden Cap down there in the distance. It's always nice to see this big ammonite on the limestone platform before you head out along the beach through towards Black Van. You can see a few more ammonites over here as well on this limestone platform. There's the lovely Golden Cap in the sun and we'll head out to Black Van. So I'm heading along to Black Ven as the tide lowers. I'll go past the 2008 slip and look for Iron Pyrites ammonites and show you a few fossil finds today. I'm not too far up the beach and uh, I've spotted a little ammonite preserved in the fool's gold. Only small. It's good to get your eye in early. What a beautiful clear evening out here along the Jurassic Coast, early January 2022. And I've got a few finds down here I just spotted. Let's see if I can pick those up again. Uh, in the Iron Pyrites, I spotted them a little bit earlier. And uh, now I'm trying harder. There it is. That's the first one. I'm trying a bit harder to try and relocate these. There's a, a Bellum Knight. It's got quite a bit of uh, the beef rock around it, but you can see the, uh, the Bellum Knight there in that uh, piece that you could get the beef rock off if you wanted to probably pick away at it um, certainly put it in fresh water give it a bit of a pick and uh, scrub at it and uh, salt water will be leached out of the uh, bellum night if you put the piece in fresh water and salt water is not good for your fossil finds anyway and over here a piece of uh, bone but probably something the Victorians ate. People are bringing me this a lot lately, the bits of bone on the beach, and um, they're much lighter than the uh, other bones from the ichthyosaurs. There's no real mineral content in those, like iron pyrites, so quite a few bits of bone on the beach like this at times, and um, probably from the old Victorian bottle dump, you can see. There, it doesn't look like much. It's a really gorgeous evening along the Jurassic Coast, and uh, I've just split one of the right rocks, one of the layered rocks that split like slate. You can see the line of weakness in the rock was actually the fossil ammonites themselves. They're beautiful in the sun, preserved in calcite. You've got impression one side and uh, the other side I got the uh, calcite ammonite, uh, sort of brownie calcite there to be uh, Develop that little ammonite will be developed with uh, hardened steel pins and uh, they'll come out quite nicely. The other side looks pretty good too. I hit that right next to the ammonite, so I was lucky with that split to get that one out. Got the hammer and chisel there. The uh, chisel is slightly uh, bent to one side and that gives it a bit of a shock, the rock, as I chisel through the right rocks. You must look for the right rocks. It's best to come on a fossil walk with us to learn about the right rocks. There's not a lot of them on the beach and then I've got uh, this hammer uh, and uh, put the electrical tape on it so I don't lose it in the storms uh, when the raging weather comes in and uh, washes my hammer away I get to refine it with that red in particular shows up on the beach so uh, quite a nice couple of ammonites called Promicrocerus there on that uh, block and uh, we take the fossil walks out during the summer show you exactly the right rocks to look for to get it into your mind's eye what the layered rocks are on the beach to find are. Oh, so um, you want to come out with us and look for those layered rocks and uh, we'll uh, split them like slate with you. They're not very big rocks, but uh, when you do find them, they have some lovely ammonites in, really worth having a go at. And um, you can find them particularly in January, February and March when the sea's at its worst, when the stormy weather is really raging in and washes the mudslides and brings a couple of those little nodules down onto the beach to find. There's the sun going down over Lyme Regis. You can see it disappearing fast this evening. Early January, a really calm sea. The seas, they're very calm, very tranquil, the doldrums. And 
and uh, we had a lot of stormy weather over the uh, actual holidays, the holidays of Christmas. And uh, look at that, very cool. What a lovely afternoon and now the evening along the Jurassic Coast. You can see church cliffs over here to the right as I pan across. And uh, I finally got a few more ammonites preserved in calcite, the little ammonites called Promite Crocerus on the 2008 Lyme Regis landslide. And uh, the light's fading fast down here. No one about. It's always good to have the place to yourself and uh, get to fossil around for these small nodules. And uh, you can see I've had a, quite a hit here on this one and uh, dug it out of the mud, just a small ammonite cluster, you can see, and uh, they're from the Jurassic Age, these little ammonites preserved in the calcite, so uh, some there to dig out in that uh, piece. Still, got the metal frame rucksack to put all the fossil finds in, it's a good brace against your back, that uh, pack, and uh, I'll head down now into Lyme Regis with the sea starting to come back in, and uh, head for home. It's always nice, like I say, to head back as the light starts to vanish. You feel like you made the most of the day on the Jurassic Coast and you never see many people out and about in this particular time period, January. So you get the beach a lot to yourself and uh, the collecting can, can be quite fine, especially after the gales we had over the uh, 2022 period of time that's celebrating the new year and uh, let's uh, see what I find in the next few months ahead as more gales I expect roll in. But look at the calmness of that sea. You don't see that too often at this time of year. The doldrums there, very, very tranquil sea. A lovely sunset, let's head for home. Please, if you like these fossil hunting videos, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit the thumbs up button. That really helps and uh, I do hope you like these videos. We're out and about quite a lot during the winter months fossil hunting so it's always nice to get some filming done as well as find some fossils, save them from the sea. The sea will only erode these fossils away anyway. There is a fossil collecting code of conduct along the Jurassic Coast. You must not dig in the cliffs in situ and please do not go out along the beach unless you know the tides you need the tides in your mind to go fossil hunting at the low tide juncture. Always be aware of safe fossil collecting tide times. And um, we take fossil walks out, um, but that's in conjunction with safe tide times. So uh, we always look up the tides and navigate as to when we can at the low tide juncture. And it's very weather dependent as well, because if there's a raging storm, the sea doesn't go back very far and uh, the sea can be held up and uh, you have to really know the conditions along the Jurassic Coast for fossil finding. And there's other various bodies like the Charmouth Heritage Centre that take fossil walks out. They know the tides, they know the times and you can go down towards Charmouth and do fossil collecting from there. It's not just Lyme Regis. Thanks very much for watching. Cheerio for now.